do an introduction to our little doesn't friend. Work very often, it doesn't work very often, but we think we should give Jack his chance of doing his first proper on-stage introduction. Take it away, Jack. Thank you, Krista. And now, here's Paul with the weekend weather. Thank you, Jack. How professional for a change. Let's have a look at two pictures that came in over the last uh, 24 hours. Look at that. I mean, that's one of the most beautiful pictures I've seen for weeks. That's Wayne House Tower just sticking out of the fog. That was taken uh, by Joshua on the morning of um, the 4th of October. Thank you very much. He's age 13. Excellent picture. And this is um, Barden Moor burning a bit of heather. That was taken earlier today. And uh, I've written another blog. It's uh, a bit of a controversial one. It's about how all our electricity bills are going to soar in the next few years as we uh, try and decarbonise the economy. It's a good read for a Friday evening. bbc.co.uk forward slash Paul Hudson. But it is controversial and people are getting really wound up to get on that blog. The headline then for the next 24 hours is uh, a brighter day tomorrow, some sunshine, a few showers to come. But on the whole, not too bad a weekend as this little ridge of high pressure tries to settle things down. But next week it turns much more unsettled and colder with widespread frost by the middle of next week. Now you can see the back edge of the cold front that's brought the rain uh, this afternoon. It pushed a little bit further west than we thought, but it is now clearing or beginning to clear away south. There's still a couple of hours worth of rain to come, followed by a rash of showers. But I think at later tonight, most of us should be dry. Just one or two showers coming back into the coast with lowest temperatures in the west down to 5 Celsius. That's 41 Fahrenheit. So the sun will rise at 7.36, setting at 7 minutes past uh, 6, and those are your high water times. So it's a much brighter picture on Saturday. Variable cloud. There will be uh, much more in the way of blue sky and sunshine. There will be one or two showers as well, as you can see from the graphics, but few and far between. Most of them across eastern areas, and certainly further west, I think a good deal of dry weather. Top temperatures coming in at around about 12 Celsius. That's 54 Fahrenheit. Fairly widespread slight frost. Saturday night leaving Sunday mostly dry with some sunshine that's the forecast who needs strictly when you've got his blog Jack <laughs> you take the program away yes. it's all yours could I end by telling you a little bit about myself mm -hmm. I'm a very quiet and secret <laughs> person and that's it really <laughs>... a brand new series of Inside Out. The mother begging Doncaster Social Services to give her answers as to how her son died. Join me on Monday at 7.30 on BBC One. She looks like she loves a Friday. You are so right! <laughs> oh, and him! Let me just check. Yes. <laughs> Oh, there's me. Yes, I do love a Friday. Oh, I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> Even the on-screen logos love Fridays. It's official. Everyone loves a Friday. Which is just as well, as I'm back with everything you need to brighten up your Friday nights. It's contagious. The Graham Norton Show, next Friday at 10.35 on BBC One. A face from the past shocks Billy in EastEnders at 8, but now on BBC One and the BBC HD channel. Let's start the weekend with Chris and Alex. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to another Friday One Show with Alex Jones. And Chris Evans. Tonight we'll need to be at the top of our game. Oh, yes. As we've got the interviewer's interviewer with us. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Sir Michael Parkinson. <laughs> Good evening, sir. Welcome to the show. Wow. 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 Are you ready for this, Al? I am. Come I on, think then. So, just about. <laughs> Thanks for coming on. My pleasure. Now then, how big is your entourage tonight? It's Michael? very large. I travel with never less than a thousand <laughs> people. It's been strange, actually. I mean, doing that book, going back across the years, to, to imagine how the entourage have changed. The Madonna, 